previously on Lost. We try to convince Jack to come back to beach camp, however he doesn't want to go and he tells us that we should leave too. Ben tells us about a submarine, which we find, however we decided to blow it up. When we return to the barracks, everybody's gone and we're left on our own with Juliet. Okay guys, welcome back and um, we are going to now pick up where we left off, uh, chapter 13, and our notes go. Um, you returned to the beach camp and explained what happened with the submarine. So let's just begin our trek back to the beach camp. Um, should be pretty, he says, pretty easy to find. Um, it's just in a southerly direction. Um, from here, um, we may also, on our way out, come across uh, another Dharma station, according to the the map. But um, I'm not going to go too much into that because uh, that might spoil the, late, the chapter later on. Um, okay, so seeing as we've got a, a massive walk ahead of us, um, last episode I said I'd probably I'd share with you about my son um, and his name of Evan Pants. So basically what it was, is when he was born, um, he was born with um, an awful lot of hair. And it was um, proper blonde hair. And he was, uh, the only hairstyle that suited him was a, a centre parting. So basically, I don't know if anybody's familiar, but there's a, a Fisher Price toy range called the World of Little People. And at the time, they their characters were appearing on Pampers and Nappies. And um, one of the characters in question, uh, called, I think his name's Eddie, um, has, he, he's got blonde hair, centre part in, and it, it just looked like uh, our, our little boy, Evan. So one of our friends actually brought this, uh, this to our attention and um, basically brought us this nappy one day from their little boy, because their little boy's the same age as our little boy. And uh, basically said, um, no, I've brought you some Evan pants. Because <laughs> um, obviously they associated Evan being the character and he was on the nappy. So ever since then, um, this name of Evan pants has um, stuck with my little boy. So um, that's basically the backstory of Evan pants. Um, what is then, we, we can then lead on to a bit of a random fact here. And... Um, who knows? I may even put the I'll, I'll put the picture um, at the end of the video. I'll get I'll get a picture taken. I'll see if I've got a picture already. Um, because uh, I wanted to get a tattoo done of um, you know when my boy was born with his name, his date of birth, etc., etc. And uh, you know I'm one of those people. I don't really care what people think. Um, I actually decided to go and say to Tattooist, uh, yeah, I am. Um, can you do me a pair of pants? So, um, actually on the, my back, I have got a pair of pants tattooed on my back. And she, the Tattooist, who is a brilliant Tattooist by the name of Sim, uh, she has a tattoo studio in Boston, this is Boston, UK guys, of course, because I'm from the UK, um, called Sim Inc. And um, she basically created this whole um, scene for me. So um, it's basically a pair of pants that's hanging on the um, washing line um, of like a meadow, and there's a fence there, and there's um, like some grass and some skyline and some clouds and everything. And then on the pants, uh, wife fronts, of course, um, it says on the waistband part, it says um, uh, Evan. July uh, 24th July because that's when he was born um, so yeah that is the story of Evan Pants I may even do a um, I may even do a video later on at another time just basically you know the story of Evan Pants uh, anyway that conversation uh, has finished nicely as we return to the beach camp here so um, yeah and um, as you can see, my navigation skills there were pretty good. Pretty good. They'll be calling me Satnav Scotney next. <laughs> okay, so um, we also brought Juliet with us. Um, from so, despite the description in the notes saying that we was uh, everybody had left us, Juliet actually stayed with us, and she has come back to the camp. But um, the other survivors aren't too keen. They 
don't really trust her being another, which is uh, understandable, you know. But um, I'm sure they will get to like her in the meantime. So carrying on with the story. Um, Sun is pregnant and she tells Juliet. And Juliet convinces her to go to the staff station with her for tests. So our next objective is go to the staff station and find the hidden test room. Okay then. So um, the staff station is unfortunately pretty much where we have just come from. Um, it was near the barracks. So we're just going to head out um, on our normal route if you're American or route if you're English. That's um, and uh, you know I'm not at all criticising anything. I'm just um, fancied a change of dialect there. Well, let go a bit American. Um, so yeah. Um, if you guys have got any comments about the old Evan Pan story as well, or indeed if you have got any weird and wacky stories um, yourselves, um, please feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, you know, if you're not too embarrassed, share them with us, guys. Um, be cool to hear all your stories. So I'm just going to carry on here for now, heading north and in a northerly direction. Um, I'm just going to move the map up a little bit. Sorry, guys. Um, what I can tell from the map, this is you know famous Scotney navigation talk here. Um, it was just basically directly up from the caves. Um, so if, as long as I carry on in a northerly direction, it should be okay. So let's pop the bed down, get it back to daytime, and we will carry on our quest, our trek to find the station. So, yep, this is north, as aided by my compass. This is, um, I think this is there on the edge of the open area. The staff's actually not too far from the, uh, the Pearl Station, so um, if I get lost, which I'm hoping I won't, um, I can always just uh, backtrack back to the beach, find the uh, good old Beechcraft 18 and the Pearl Station, and we can navigate from there. But um, hey-ho, I have faith that um, my flawed navigation skills are behind me. I'm quite actually looking forward, um, without spoiling it for you guys um, who don't know the story of Lost, although I'm sure most of you do, um, quite looking forward to finding the Looking Glass Station. I, I feel that that could be quite, um, quite an interesting one to find. Um, be intrigued as to how they actually built that as well, because it's uh, the underground, underwater station. Um, so anyway, there is Beechcraft 18. You can see that up there. So the staff is over in this direction somewhere, he says. Um, obviously, the other thing I don't know as well is how well these um, how well these um, things are actually sign uh, not signposted. <laughs> There's not going to be a massive sign saying the staff this way. Um, that's Henry Gale's balloon. Uh, you know what I mean. As some things might be, uh, some stations could be hidden. However, I think it might be over here. Is it over here? Let's have a look. Um, nope, it's not there. Uh, what's happened? Okay, Minecraft has crashed. Um. So, um, okay, I'm going to quit the game and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, so we're back. Sorry about that. Um, that's obviously my crappy computer. Um, I've obviously explored far too much without quitting Minecraft and, um, yeah, taking up all the memory available to it at this time. So, yeah, we'll carry on here looking for... Okay, no, we won't because we have just found it. So, here we are. We're at the staff. Um, okay, so we can go back to our notes then. So, uh, we're looking for the hidden uh, test room. And our notes 
actually say um, it's a bit dark down here isn't it uh, it says um, first locate the locker room so let's try and find the locker room actually let's have a look around first um, got the nursery here oh, there's some records in there um, looks like it's just a room Theatre? Is this the um guess it must be. I would have thought that maybe no that's not. Anyway, that's the nursery, that's something else. Um <laughs> something else. So this is the locker room. So it says pay attention to the walls, you'll find a button. You are allowed to destroy two blocks, one locker. Okay, so these are the lockers. Um There's a button there. So, does this mean that this is the uh, this is the secret room? Yeah, there we go. So it says, um, basically, obtain the medicine, which is sugar. So yeah, that's that's it. We've obtained the medicine. Um, and then it says, um, bring it back to the camp. So that looks like that could be it then for this um, for this station. Um, yeah, they're just buttons, they don't anything just cool so um, okay let's go take the medicine back to camp um, um, yeah so um, obviously what we haven't covered there is um, I think Juliet Juliet decided that uh, agreed for Sun to start doing some tests and taking some medicine because the whole backstory is that um, something about the island pregnant women can't have babies or the, the babies always die on the island and they don't know why and that's the reason Juliet was brought to the island um, to try and to research as to why um, these weren't happening. I think in one of the flashbacks I think it was her sister um, if I remember rightly, her sister, she wasn't very well, and it was her sister that she was using the medicines on. So yeah, that is the backstory of that. So, uh, but anywho, we've we've got that medicine now. Um, we will be um, Juliet will be administering it to Sun, and uh, who knows, maybe Sun can have her baby after all. But um, Sun's definitely Juliet's latest. Um, we'll call her guinea pig for now because she really she is actually just a, a test subject at the minute. Um, even though it's not part of the Dharma, she's not part of the Dharma Initiative anymore. Um, although she wasn't actually recruited under the Dharma Initiative, was she? Juliet, I think it was Ben and the others that actually recruited her to. Um, research so hmm. as always guys and it's on a postcard if you know the full facts and can fill us in um, you know I'm um, some people just their knowledge of lost might be uh, I expect will be gr far greater than mine I've only ever watched it once the, the series through although I've got all the episodes um, I've probably said this a thousand times in videos before that I might watch it. Because the problem is that right, we pay. Uh, I'm just going to branch off somewhere else here. Me and my wife, we have um, Sky satellite television here, and we pay obviously the monthly fee of whatever it is. 
But no movies, don't have sports. Um, I mean, I've got a, a, my server at home. I've got me. I run it as a media server as well. So we've got countless movies on there uh, that are at disposal that we watch via the PlayStation. So, but every night you can guarantee that we just sit around twiddling our thumbs and we can never, no matter, despite the fact of paying for and countless channels on Sky, we never find anything that we want to watch. Um, you know, the highlight of our lives is watching Hollyoaks every night. Um, if you're not from the UK, Hollyoaks is like this little um, young person's type soap opera which kind of gets um, kind of raunchy at times is the best way. It's like a young person's thing, uh, program. It's the, most of the cast are young. Uh, I'm just going to pop this back in here because we no longer need it. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, so uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, we we sit around at night time and we just have not got a clue what we want to watch at all. So, you know, maybe watch starting to watch Lost again uh, would be we would be cool. Uh, give us something to watch. Uh, we won't have to fight and argue over what we what we've got to watch. And um, who knows? Second time around, you may actually pick up might actually pick up things that um, we missed the first time around. But you know what? That's a discussion for me and my wife. Because um, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, we've brought the medicine back to the camp, put it in the chest, and that concludes chapter 13. And another episode of the Minecraft Adventure Map series. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, if you not subscribed, subscribe. If you want to comment, uh, please comment. Um, if you've got answers to questions, obviously comment as well. Please like this video and make sure you come back uh, when next time we'll chat to tackle. F rewind. We will tackle tower. Oh, I can't speak now. We will tackle chapter 14, which actually marks the halfway point in the adventure. As there's 27 chapters on this particular adventure. Anyway, guys, um, I'm N Scudders, and I will catch you later. Cheers, guys. Bye. Okay guys, so just quickly to finish off this video, this is my Evan Pants tattoo. Uh, this photo was taken about uh, two hours after I'd had the tattoo done after the cover was taken off. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of redness. Not the best photo, but it's the only one I have got. Hope you enjoy. See you guys.